Hey guys, um, just wanted to do your homework with you today. Again, um, these excuse me, these copies didn't come out well, so you can skip number seven and number eight for your homework tonight. Um, so I'm gonna do the odds with you today. So we have one and eight tenths plus eight hundred fifty-six thousandths. Remember, when you're adding or subtracting a decimal, you line up the decimal. So I have one and eight tenths, and then I have zero decimal eight five six then i'm just going to go put in zeros as placeholders so that i can keep my column straight zero plus six is six five plus zero is five eight plus eight is sixteen then my comma this should be over a little bit so bring down my decimal that's a six one two so for number one the answer is two and six hundred fifty six thousandths for number three, I have 59 and 7 tenths times 10 to the fourth. Well, I'm going to go ahead and write this out, 59 and 7 tenths, right? This tells me that I'm going to move the decimal to the right because it's multiplication. And then how many times? Four. One, two, three, four. There's my decimal, and I'm going to put zeros in these places. So my answer for number three is 597000. Zero, zero, zero. The decimal is here, but you need to go put in a comma. So the answer is 597,000. All right, number five, um, you need to make sure you're reading the directions. It says which expression would be solved first. It's not asking you to solve this. It's asking you what would you do first. So I know my rules of GEMDAS, right? Grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication, division, add, subtract. So I don't see any grouping symbols. Do I see any exponents? Yes. So what I'm going to do first is 6 squared. That's what I'm going to do first. Number 9, what letter is at the coordinate 0, 0? Well, I go over to my friends at 0 and up to the room at 0. So for number 9, the answer is J. Ooh. Hey, guys.